right. It seems like Yu-Gi-Oh might not be super popular on this channel. So this will probably be our last Yu-Gi-Oh opening for a while. Um, July, I do get cases of the first five set reprints, so I might not be able to help myself. But I'm pretty sure this is going to be last for a while. Uh, so if you are here, uh, obviously cardpunk.games, best source for sealed product. And uh, definitely give us a subscribe on YouTube. Alright, we're trying to get to that 1,000 subscribers so we can do some nice giveaways. Ooh, okay. That was interesting how the packs fell out. Okay. Uh, so what are we looking for in here? Uh, Starlight Rare would be great. <laughs> no questions about that. That would be a pretty big hit. Those are like 1 out of 14, 15 boxers or so. So probably not going to hit that. Uh, this set, uh, Battle of Chaos, does have a Ultra Rare Dark Magician. Uh, that's just randomly inserting. It doesn't take the place of uh, anything other than a common. So we'd love to see that. I would actually Dark Contract with the patent license. We still have to check for the Dark Magician, though. Uh, the Dark Magician would be great. Uh, fun fact about the Dark Magician... I'm pretty sure it pre-ordered for like $400. Everyone thought it was going to be super hard to find, and it wasn't. I think it was two or three per case. So not a horrible chance at getting it. Libromancer Agent, another super rare. Uh, which I think is a starlight as well in here. Uh, other than that, uh, the values and a few of the secrets... I think one of the Ultras used to be worth something. I don't know if it still is. If we get that, I'll point that out. Yeah, let's, let's make it so you can see things. Yay. All right. Well, you haven't missed much. Okay. Oh, no. It's Libromancer Geek Boy, I think, is the Starlight, not Agent. Though there is an interesting cut down there. Not a huge fan of my cards being cut out of the box. I guess it's not a cut. Maybe it's a weird print line. Yeah, there's a print line across as well. The back doesn't have those print lines, though. That's interesting. Okay, so there's our first secret rare. Uh, not the best secret rare, I will say that, but it exists. So we're looking for some blue eyes, some dark magician. And no, I'm not talking about 2003. We are actually looking for that in 2023. Magic Karibo. Uh, part of the Karibo line. They get progressively cuter, it seems. Alright. So, let's see. Anything... Ultimate Fusion is a cool card. I think it's... I think it's a dollar or two. Somewhere around there. Uh, maybe not this version, actually. Maybe I'm thinking of a different version that's a dollar or two. Like, maybe the... I think Ultimate Fusion was in the, uh... What's that Kaiba set called? Was it Legendary Collections Kaiba, maybe? Uh, it was one of the... I think it was a Game Board set, originally. No, I think it's, like, uh, Legendary Collection Kaiba. I'm gonna say that's what set it was. Uh, that... Oh, Chaos Nephis. A ultra rare. Uh, I think that's what set it was from. I think uh, they had an ultimate printing, maybe. If not just a super and ultra in it. I think that set might be the one I'm thinking of. That's a buck or two. I don't know if it is out of uh, Battles of Chaos. Nordic Relic. I am hoping to see that Dark Magician, to be honest. Uh, as, as great as a Starlight would be. Uh, I don't have a ton of hope for a Starlight. I do have hope for a Dark Magician, though. Dark Magician would be nice to see in here. Uh, but, ooh, Libromancer's first appearance. I don't think that's, uh, anything. But, yeah, like I was saying, that Dark Magician pre ordered way too, too high. Uh, it, it very much crashed when the set came out. Well, actually, before the set came out, when people started opening it, it kind of crashed a little bit. 
and Dark Dimension Soldier. Uh, I mean, it's still it's still a you know great card. It's like eighty bucks or something, somewhere in that neighborhood at least. But I just want to pull it to pull it. Pulling my first and only Starlight though, that would be uh, much better. Intervention. All right, we're almost halfway through the box though. Again, does not seem like uh, what is this pile? I don't know what this is. All right. Does not seem like a ton of you are into the Yu-Gi-Oh side. So, like I said, this is uh, very likely to be one of our last Yu-Gi-Oh openings. Which is too bad. I really like the art on Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Um, but, oh well. I like their rarities, too, a lot. They have some interesting ones. Ooh, Alice, Lady of Lament. I'm pretty sure this got a reprint, uh, was it Tactical Masters, I think? I think I remember that being in Tactical Masters. Could be wrong. Pretty easily wrong, even, sometimes. Nordic Beast. Alright, we're on the second half of the box now. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. White Relic of Dogmatica. Nordic Relic, I think. Yeah, that's the Nordic Relic we already got. Z combine Lex no. Yeah. Alright, what do we got left in this box? Probably another secret rare. S Force Retroactive. I don't think I've ever seen that card. It does look kinda nifty, but I don't think I've seen it. So we'll probably do for another secret. Uh, we do have the chance at the, uh, Dark Magician, too. Soul and Luna. I don't think that's, uh, anything we're really looking for. I'm pretty sure there's only one Ultra Rare that I think might still have some value from this set. Can't remember what it was, though, or what it's called. Vampire Fascinator. Alright, what do we got? Five packs left. All right, we can do it. We can pull something good. At least give us a Jet Dragon. If we can get a Blue Eyes Jet Dragon, we'll be pretty happy. Oh, this is actually the Ultra Rare I was thinking of. Yeah. I don't know if it's still worth anything, but I'd be very interested to see it. It might be. I think at one point it was like 20 bucks. I don't remember it getting reprinted since then. It also could have fell out of the meta. I don't really follow the meta. Dee Dee Griffin. But uh, at one point it was expensive. Alright. So that's good at least. We did get the Ultra we wanted. Well, I guess the Ultra Dark Magician was the one we really wanted, but <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, if we do get another Seeker Rare, which I think we do, I'd really like the Blue Eyes Jet Dragon. Or the, uh, what's that one fucking magician called in this set? I don't remember. Oh, Blue Eyes Jet Dragon. What's up? Uh, that does come in Starlight. Uh, that would be a pretty cool Starlight. All right, let's pop her in a sleeve. Got the Blue Oz Jet Dragon. Very cool. All right, so we got the Secret Rare and the Ultra Rare we wanted. This last pack still could have that Dark Magician, and then we'd get everything we wanted. Let's see. Ice Jade. 
Nope, no Dark Magician. All right, well, it was fun. We did get some cards we wanted, which is good. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! is going to bite the dust on this channel. It's going to be a very rare opening from now on. Oh, there's print lines in uh, the Jet Dragon, too. That's so weird. Both the secrets had print lines in them. But, oh well. Not much you can do about that. Uh, yeah, so this is the end of our three Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Wanted to see if it did well. If it did, I would kind of like to have continued it. But looks like they're going under. So, uh, I don't know when you're going to see this, to be honest. Uh, I'm recording a bunch of videos. And just going to kind of schedule them for whenever. You'll probably see this on a Friday. I think I'm more likely to schedule videos for Friday. Friday and Sunday, I think, are the ones that I tend to schedule them on. If I schedule in advance. So, you'll probably see this on Friday. I don't know. But it should be the third Yu-Gi-Oh! video this month. If it's not, uh, you guys are getting a third at some point. But uh, if it is, then uh, I hope at least some of you enjoyed it. I don't know why we're fanning through super rares. That's a weird choice. But I'm going to let you go. Uh, again, definitely subscribe channel if you haven't already. We are shooting for that 1,000 subscribers so we can get some uh, giveaways going. But until then, we're just chilling. So hope you guys have a great one. Peace.